learn to, to cut my teeth um, and learn what it took to get in this business, albeit in a sports internship. I do news now um, for you know 5 p.m. for an hour, but, but this was the space where I learned. Just wanted to take you back here real quick. Uh, before we head into the newsroom. So let's go into the newsroom. If I was to equate uh, parts of the body to where we are right now, this is the heart of um, this station. It is the newsroom. It is where we, in the corner there, that, that raised desk, that's, that's the assignment desk, that's where they listen to scanners and they make beat calls. Beat calls are essentially calling around to different police departments and fire departments and asking whether they have anything to report. Um, any kinds of fires or crimes, so on and so forth. These days, everything is very streamlined through internet. Um, public information officers with these different agencies and departments often reach out to us. So, if you can describe to them, what's what does a producer do? Okay, so uh, I've always wondered. No, <laughs> there, you know, you have your most important stories of the day, so they go at the top of the rundown, and what you deem as the second most important story goes next, so on and so forth. And then you have a commercial break somewhere in, in, in between those important stories and the, the, the end of that, what we call the first block. So then you have a commercial. But your job as a producer, one of the many jobs, is to keep the audience around for what comes after the second commercial. It may not be the most relevant or important story, but you have to find a way to make it interesting to the viewer, give them some sort of tease, we call it, to say, Oh, wow, i got to stick around for that. And meanwhile, you're, you're delegating different stories to different shows because you want to make sure the shows are all different at 4, 5, and 6, right. uh, which is a challenge, and a challenge most days. Right. The, the makeup artist will come in in about two hours, and she'll be camped out in here, and we'll go one by one. My time is 3.30 where I get in there, and uh, we'll get the whole thing done up. So this is the studio, guys. To my left is Bill Henley, who the man, the myth, the legend, whatever you want to call him, is the meteorologist in our morning show. Does a tremendous job, was incredibly welcoming of me when I started to anchor mornings here and was terrified and way over my head. Uh, Jessica Boynton's back there who does traffic. Hi, she... say hi. No, it's all good. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is being taped. It's okay. <laughs> you better have some good stuff to say about me. Just don't look at my boots because I have my boots on. Hi, guys. <laughs> so Jessica works right in front of that green screen, and, and what she's doing, it, and it, it's a big to say too with Bill is these guys aren't scripted I mean they are updating what they deliver on the news every morning if you watch before you go to school and I and I say definitely try to do that tomorrow um, it, they're updating and constantly um, you know changing what they're going to deliver every 10 5 to 10 to 15 minutes and, and there's no teleprompter for them they're, they're just going at the top of their heads so whereas we're reading and we've got the easy job these guys are doing the hard stuff, and they're doing the heavy lifting in the show. So uh, it, it gives us some additional functionality that is not as easy when you're using a green screen. You could do it, but it doesn't, it's not quite as handy. So it's, it's kind of nice, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it now. This isn't live, guys. Not at all. Yeah, you're not on TV. Oh, there it goes. So if you notice, guys, and you can kind of crowd around to see these screens if you want to. Um, if you guys were to try to, here's a great example. So why don't you two guys, you guys want to be on TV at some point, um, try to point to things that you're seeing in the screen. How would you do it? Point it like the, the pick something. So it's like, because if you don't pick something, you're like, oh, I made it. Try to circle, like try to like underline Belmont Avenue or try to like circle something. Belmont. You'll see right underneath it. Oh, I see how this is going. It's like opposite. Oh, that is weird. Yeah, and then you use the side monitors to watch yourself too. The camera backwards. In this, this is where the lens is back here. The teleprompter will turn off. You'll be able to see yourself here. So it looks as if you're looking into the lens and looking at a camera. Really, though, you're, you're gaining some perspective looking at yourself. Um, so you can chit-chat, blah, 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 blah. You can see what's going on behind you if you wanted to talk about it. And then you turn this way, and you direct your attention toward this screen or that screen. And suddenly, it looks like, it looks like you're actually looking at what's going on behind you, too. Yeah, come on. Sit down. Somebody sit down over here. These chairs are not comfortable. No, totally not comfortable. So... This is what we see. So we've got these blindingly bright lights all across, shining in our face. We're looking up here. Do you see how ours it has the teleprompter in it? In the middle of us, what's actually going on television? So not only can we look below the cameras, but we see here. That way we know for sure if we're on TV or not. We know if we're talking underneath video, what 
they're seeing and hearing, um, and, uh, and that can be very important, obviously. Right now, the camera is trained on 76. And, oh, hey, there we go. Perfect example. So you can tell right away if we're on TV or not. And that's what we look like right there. It, to just say your one thing would be, a, would be an understatement, though. We do wear a lot of hats here, and I, I yeah. do as well. So, um, yeah, lighting, shooting, editing, producing. Parts. The, I said the. Oh, sorry. Well, where did I say the brain was actually? <laughs> did I say this was the brain? No, it's a lot. I'd say this is the brain. Did you say this is the brain? <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's the yeah, pancreas. This is the, <laughs> yes. This is the spleen. Yeah. Okay, so so this is the digital operation center, which is what this room is essentially. This is where you get ADD, I think. And you can never watch one TV with me. So so see all of these TVs back here. These are all coming in from somewhere, right? They're either coming in from a microwave signal, or a satellite dish, um, or um, um, even an internet feed sometimes, we can, we can route them. Well, the internet's also, the Dejeros and Live Views, which come from the cell towers. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Beauty yeah. cameras and the helicopters. Beauty yeah. cameras, helicopters, and So, So yeah. the people that work in here negotiate all of these feeds. These guys are in charge of every single piece of video that comes into our station. It all gets cataloged right here and organized in such a way where reporters and photographers and producers can find all of these pieces. Um, so if I was to try to find any kind of file footage, let's say I need file footage of, um, of John Cruck uh, playing for the Phillies in the 93 World Series, then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna say, hey Steve, do you, you know, can, it, can you get me like 10 seconds of that? And these guys are so good where within a minute he'll be like, yeah, I think we got that, and they'll know. This is the commercial run and the entire log of all the programming for the entire day for NBC. This is basically what is running the television station here, and this one is Telemundo, Telemundo 62, the entire program log for the day, and it's just clicking around, uh, running the station, both stations for the entire day. In headlines, jurors in the Eric Frame case will return to court this afternoon for the penalty phase of his trial. To file to the Samantha, D-E-N-O-T-O. ...shooting that killed the Pennsylvania State Trooper Brent and injured Mom, another. Frame faces okay, the death penalty or life in prison. And we expect to learn more today about a police chase and deadly shooting in Newcastle County. Samantha did not Officers yeah. yesterday did chased not a right. suspect who refused to pull over. So car crashes followed. Well, they did take a short break, no teleprompter for her in the field. Uh, She's just going live and reporting what's going on right now, inside the courtroom. Thank Fourth you. witness so far today. We're going to give you a live look inside of the courtroom as she testifies. She's been very measured, very calm. She's going through her history with deep. Um,